Hello, I'm Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Ink Nouveau. And what I'm going to cover today is something called Brass Sheet. Now this is Goulet Brass Sheet because this is something that we're actually manufacturing here in-house. It is a essentially a thin sheet of brass that you use to clean in between the tines of your nib in order to keep things flowing smoothly. So I'm going to cover all that today and explain to you why you need it and how to properly use it. So why do you need brass sheet? Well, you don't always need brass sheet. Obviously, people have been using fountain pens for years and never have anything to do with brass sheet. It's not that it's something that you have to have, but there are certain instances where it can be very helpful for you to keep your pens working optimally. Essentially, the brass sheet is a cleaning tool. That's how you should really look at it. Um, when you have a fountain pen, like this one, for example, um, it has a metal nib. And when you're writing on paper with a metal nib, you're essentially creating a very small electrostatic charge because of the friction of that metal on the paper. And what's happening with that electric charge is that paper fibers, dust particles, things in the air are attracted to the nib as you're writing. It's really not a problem in the short term, but over time, that stuff can build up in your feed, in your nib tines, and it can really, in the nib slit, and it can really uh, kind of impede the flow. Now that's why you want to clean your pen regularly with water uh, or maybe a pen flush, and that will usually take care of the problem. However, if you have a pen that just doesn't seem to be flowing properly, or if you have one that's been sitting around for a while, maybe you had some ink and stuff that dried up in there and is really tough to clean out, it may help to actually have a physical tool rather than a chemical tool to try to clear obstructions from your nib or your feed if you're able to get access to it. And that's where the brass sheet comes into play. Another reason to use it is if you are doing any kind of nib work. Now granted, this is not something that everybody is doing out there, but if you have any micro mesh, for example, or if you have any mylar paper and you are doing any kind of nib smoothing, now you need to know what you're doing when you're doing this kind of stuff, but when you're working with any kind of abrasive to smooth your nib, you want to make sure that you're using a brass sheet as well because the abrasive itself can come off the page and get into your nib and the nib, the metal itself, small fragments of the metal can actually work its way up into there as well. It's never a bad idea to take and just floss your nib tines whenever you're doing any kind of nib work before you uh, begin using the pen regularly. There's basically two ways that you can use the brass on your pen, and it depends on whether or not your nib is removable. Now, most pens out there do not have the ability to remove the nib, so you're stuck with the option of flossing the nib tines with the nib installed. And you have to be careful when you're doing that because the corner of this brass is pretty sharp, and if you have a nib surface um, especially that has any kind of coating on it, like Monteverdi or Lamy Black nibs or, or anything like that, any plated gold. Um, if you're scratching it, you know, that would not be ideal cosmetically. So you want to be careful so that you're only keeping the brass in the slit of the nib. You want to start up here, not at the tip of the nib, because the tip uh, is where the nib is actually touching. So further up, it'll be easier to insert your brass in. Sometimes there's a hole in your nib, sometimes there's not. If there is a hole, it makes it easy because you have a nice place to start. And you just want to insert the brass in there as far as it'll go. And you don't want to keep it at too sharp of an angle. You want to keep it pretty low so that as you're dragging it from the back to the tip, you can be sure that the brass is actually getting in there. And you just want to do it a couple of times until you feel that you've you know, gotten whatever could be in there. Now, the brass will scratch, it could deform, it could bend, that's okay. You know, this brass is soft for a reason so that it will give before your nib will. But that's essentially how it's done. Now, if you have the ability to remove the nib from the pen, life gets much easier for you. This pen, for example, this is just an Ahab with a Goulet nib stuck in it. Um, very easy, the nib just comes right out. Now you can actually operate from the underside of the nib. You don't have to worry about scratching anything because everything you're messing with is on the underside. And you can take your brass, you have 
full ability to put your brass as far in as you want, whereas when you have it installed on the pen, you're combating with the feed underneath there and it makes it harder to do. So if you have the ability to remove your nib, it makes flossing much easier. Not only that, but when you can remove the nib, then you can get to the feed as well and you can use the brass to make sure that there is no physical obstructions in your feed too. Undoubtedly, if you're using your brass sheet for a while, you're going to crinkle up the corners, you're going to bend it, it's going to look sort of deformed, kind of like what I've got going on on the end here. Um, you know, it's easier for some people than for others to use this stuff, you know, over and over again. But let's say, for example, I've just really kind of mangled the end of it, and I just can't bend it back and use it, uh, you know, as it should be. Well, the nice thing about this is because it's so soft and because it's so thin, you can just use a regular pair of scissors and you can just kind of cut and get a fresh corner. You know, you can cut whatever angle you feel is comfortable and then you can get back to it. As long as you have, you know, a corner of some kind, you can just kind of take and insert that thing in there and bam you know, you're in working shape again. So this brass will last you quite some time. And again, it's not like you're gonna be flossing your, your nib every day. It's really just kind of a diagnosis tool and kind of something to help revive an old pen. So it's, it's not something that you should really have to be buying over and over again. And the reason that we at Goulet give you two of them is so that you can have them last a long time. If you lose one, you'll still have another. If you wanna cut it up into smaller pieces, you can do that. You know, but we give you two of them so you keep one at home, one at work, one upstairs, downstairs, whatever. You know, whatever is best for you. We figure uh, that, that this will pretty much last you about as long as you could possibly need. If you have any questions about brass sheet or anything else about your fountain pens, uh, be sure to leave me a comment on YouTube or on my blog, Inc. Nouveau, or you can hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. Thanks so much for watching today, and right on.